But You Can Count On continues with Heather Heron and Mark Mellinger. You've probably heard the saying, life is a series of moments. Well, for one former tin cap, those moments have been equally beautiful and bittersweet. Wayne TV sports director Glenn Marini shows us now with the story of Nate Fryman. In the five years the tin caps have been around, Nate Fryman is easily the player you're most likely to remember. But the slugger has a complicated story, and it's a story that will always include the Summit City. During the summer of 2010, Nate Fryman was hard to miss in a tin caps uniform. The six foot eight first baseman slugging his way to the Midwest League All Star game. This summer, the big man is in the big leagues as a rookie first baseman for the Oakland Athletics. It's been an incredible experience. I said that coming up through the minors, playing in Fort Wayne, nicest stadium I ever expected to play in, short of being in the big leagues. And um, it, it definitely was. It's, it's definitely the nicest place I've played. It can be difficult for younger players to, to have to acclimate to a role where they're not playing every day, but he's done it beautifully, he works very hard to, to keep himself ready, and, and gets the brunt of the time at first base against left-handed pitching. Now, Nate's life doesn't take place all here at the baseball field. Back on December 29th, he married Fort Wayne native Amanda Blumenhurst. Amanda currently plays on the LPGA Tour, and the two met while students at Duke, Amanda was the female athlete of the year as a senior. Nate, the male athlete of the year. Best day of best day of my life. It, it was it was perfect. Out in Arizona, our families were there. Could have asked for anything better. Amanda and I see each other as often as we can. Not particularly often right now, but she's going to be in Oakland for our next home stands. She understands, and and I understand that it's it's not all. Easy. It's it's hard physically and, and mentally, but we both we both love it and enjoy it. And it's it's we'd rather be doing nothing else. Prime in left field. That's it. Well, JD Martinez is going back, and that baby is gone. On April 15th, Fryman crushed his first major league home run, but the celebration was bittersweet. Earlier that day, the Boston Marathon bombing rocked Nate's hometown. A Wellesley, Massachusetts native, Fryman grew up just blocks from the marathon's halfway point. It was it was scary, surreal, uh, just confusing. Uh, really, really hard, hard week. We were all you all realize the impact of something like that, and, and certainly for Nate, who was from the area, it had a little added significance for him, and came out and really stepped up and had a nice game for us and, and hit his first home run, and I know it was a big day for him. And A's fans certainly hope for more big days in the future. Fantastic experience being a part of this team and just looking forward to hopefully winning some more games. At six foot eight, Fryman is tied with former Major League slugger Richie Sexton as the tallest position player in Major League history. There have been lots of pitchers taller than that, though, most notably the big unit Randy Johnson, who stood six foot ten. I'm Glenn Marini, News Channel 15.